Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at FranklinRobotics.com, and this is their prototype for a new type of robot that can weed whack your garden for you. Get rid of those pesky little weeds, but leave behind your pepper plants, your basils, your good productive plants. Now, it works on a type of sensor, basically like a radar, that can tell big plants from small plants, and it just gets the little seedlings. So, if you have crops that you need to protect that you just planted and their seedlings maybe put up a little fence or leave the robot out of the garden there's another robot I'll show you in a second that operates on photography and also goes after little plants you gotta keep it away from the good plants not perfect technology by any means but heck this is a good leap forward solar charging so you don't have to have it plugged in or a docking station it automatically senses plants and this is its movement right now. The front of it has a little radar, and when it touches a plant, when it comes in contact, it bounces off and goes a different way. But if it encounters a little weed plant, a little invasive species, it runs over it, stops, knocks it out. Now, you should pull weeds from the roots, but if you get them while they're young and the roots don't have a chance to develop and chop off those leaves, it can sometimes dry out pretty effectively and keep the garden weed free but if you have this thing constantly going around being charged by the sun then heck if they come back a little bit I don't think it's that big a deal so we're gonna go to the MIT technology review page they're talking about the same device but this is their commercial unit the tear till bigger solar panel of course for longer power and they go into all sorts of uh, a story about the history of the company behind it that made the Roomba which is that little robot that goes around your house and vacuums up behind you. And their dream, down here in the last paragraph, is to have several different robots on the farm. Some for pruning, some for injecting micro or macronutrients into the plant's root zone when they absolutely need it. Monitoring them, and of course scaring away pests and predator animals, that sort of thing. This is the other robot that I saw. This was also linked through the... MIT Technology Review page, Weed O Bot, and here's a picture of it. Works with photography, not a radar system. They don't really have a whole lot of information here on it, though. It does seem like an innovative design, and I'm glad to see this first generation of farm robots is progressing. It's really going to be the second, third, fourth, fifth generation that are going to help save the backs of farm laborers around the world. I'm going to link to these three pages in the description, and if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, Subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.